Hi there. This tutorial is for anyone who's interested in learning how to program. And uh, as you will see, uh, I believe learning how to program means learning C first. And everyone else in computer science will tell you that learning C is too hard and too antiquated and you should learn something like Java to start with. And I think that's wrong. So you want to learn how to program. Well, where do you start? Uh, as I just said, uh, a lot of people will tell you, well, try out JavaScript or something that they consider easier. Well, um, that'll help you maybe, but uh, if you want to advance your career as a programmer or just become better than an average um, programmer on the market, I think it would make sense to actually learn um, not where you start, but where did it all start. And um, basically... As far as programming languages in the modern era goes, a lot of people attribute the beginning of um, modern programming on a computer, at least as far as still, still in usage today, to C. So uh, C came out uh, thanks to a guy named Dennis Ritchie, uh, who also invented Unix, actually. Uh, I think it was in the 60s or 70s. And uh, he created the C programming language. And quickly after that, um, object-oriented programming took over and C++ came out. Parallel to this, uh, over at a company called Next Step, Objective-C, which is another object-oriented extension to C, uh, came out around the same time. Um, after that, Java came around, which kind of became an idea of a higher level language than even C++. Um, that row there, the, uh, the, these two guys, the object-oriented ones, I put them on the row, oh, I can't see my mouse, because they are actually native languages, meaning that they don't need an interpreter, a virtual machine, or a virtual um, environment to run. So shortly after Java came out, C Sharp came along. Microsoft didn't want to license Java anymore, and they just decided we're going to have our own. And um, the bane of existence of programming C Sharp decided to exist and still exists to this day, though I think not many people are interested in it. I don't even know if you can make Windows 8 apps in it without having to jump through hoops. I think Windows 8 apps are still native in C++ or uh, JavaScript. So JavaScript is a web-based programming language, um, also based off of C. Um, powerful, but uh, yeah, I'll just say that. And then, of course, web developers use PHP, which is another uh, language. And these languages all have everything in common that they owe their roots and their structures to C. So um, the basic idea is, is if you learn one of these, at least you know syntactically um, all of them the way they're going to look, with the exception of Objective-C, which is a little weird. So time ago, programming used to be simple. It used to be something that was this. You could literally write a program in 5, 10, 30 lines of code, and it would run. And um, those were the good in days when there was no such thing as a mouse and commands were typed into a computer. Uh, which you still see today in stupid shows like CSI Miami where they're typing even though they should be using a mouse. So uh, that was the case until graphical user interfaces were invented and the complexity of programming drastically went up. So now programs look something more like this. This is actually the first time I learned how to program I saw something like this, or first time I tried to learn how to program. I was looking at Windows Win32 programming. So when I was a kid, my desire was to make video games. I was really into PlayStation, and uh, I heard about this system called the Eurozi that you could actually buy. It would come with a compiler, and you could actually make your own PlayStation games with it. I remember reading in a magazine that all you needed to do was know C. C was a language to make games in the late 90s. And uh, my illusion was I was going to pick up one of these systems, learn C, and and spit out my own Final Fantasy VII kind of game in like a couple months. I even had notebooks and I had all my plans and designs ready to go. I was about 15 or 16. Um, not only did I never get my hands on the Eurozy because they never went on sale in the U.S., uh, I did get my hands on a $200 compiler called Code Warrior. And uh, first thing I saw was it took, this is not even as much code. This is like maybe 20%, but it took about this much code to produce just a stupid window with the world Hello World in it. Not a game, no graphics, just an empty window on Windows 95. Uh, needless to say, I was pretty damn disappointed. Um, and I think I gave up at that point learning how to program because I thought it was just too hard. However, um, I persisted. 
um, I decided to try to learn just C when I found uh, some C graphics libraries and free compilers on the internet. And closer to reality was it took me about one year and a lot of persistence to make a 2D console style uh, RPG instead. Um, fast forward the clock six years later when I actually learned a little bit more 3D technologies. I did get my 3D RPG, though in reality I never finished that. It took me about two years to make not even a half hour of gameplay. But um, I digress. So more reality checks. Uh, systems in general, iOS for iPhone, Windows, PlayStation 4, they're all getting more and more complex by the day, which means programming and programming languages are getting more and more complex. So every person that takes a month longer than the age I learned at in the 90s and when I was 16 has, in my ability or in my uh, belief, considerable more complexity to digest than I did. So you can be very overwhelmed in the beginning. So um, maybe instead of trying to start today at the top, it would make sense to start at the bottom. Uh, so that brings us back to C. Um, suppose you want to learn just C, which is basically here. So C is closest to metal, meaning you have full access to system resources, memory management, etc. Uh, you, you have more power when you're programming in C than any other language on the same OS. As long as the language is backwards compatible to, with C, which is the case with C++ and Objective-C, you still can program in pure C, which is very important because Java, C Sharp, JavaScript, they don't let you backwards program in actual C. So um, when I say you can learn C, you can actually be using C uh, and inside any of those higher level languages of C++ or Objective-C. Um, it's the lowest level you can go before assembly and still be cross-platform. Uh, I left the bullet point out, but C is actually higher performing. If you write code in C, it's going to be faster a lot of times than equivalent code written, sometimes in even C++, but especially higher level languages like Java and JavaScript. In 2013, you can still write an entire game in C although many professionals still use C++ for game development. This is interesting because the language that most people prefer to use to write games has actually stayed the same for the last 13 to 20 years, which is C and C++, uh, which is pretty crazy. All your Javas and C Sharps and JavaScripts, uh, they're becoming more popular than they used to be, but people still prefer, like your PlayStation 4 game that you're about to play has still been written probably in C and C++. There's no Java in there, I can guarantee you that. Um, might not be true in a few years, but that's the case. And that's because uh, OpenGL, which is the main system people use to make 3D games, with the exception of Windows, uh, is a pure C API, meaning you can use it with just C. And that's also true of SDL, which is a game library that a lot of Steam games for Linux uh, use. So uh, if you learn C, you transfer your skills to almost every other programming language. I covered that. So now we're actually going to get started. I know this was a lot. You probably skipped all this anyway. Uh, I'm going to get started on actually teaching you uh, the basics of the C programming language now. Alrighty, so getting started learning C. Um, uh, first thing you're going to want to do on your computer is download a compiler. On Windows, that'll probably be Visual Studio or Visual C++ Express, the free copy. Uh, I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to go ahead and grab Xcode. Uh, Xcode is actually not the compiler, it's the IDE, which is the wrapper around LLVM, but you don't need to care about that right now. Um, you're just going to grab Xcode, install it. It takes quite a while to install, but um, you know, once it's installed, this is Xcode 5, by the way, once it's installed, you'll be able to open it up. Uh, you might actually want to wait until it's ready uh, before you keep playing, but um, I already have Xcode, so I'm just going to go ahead and, and hit File, New Project, and uh, we're going to create a command line tool, which is under Applications, so we don't get overwhelmed with complexity. And uh, I went ahead and picked C as the language. And I'm just going to give it a name and call it C Testing uh, 1. We're probably going to make a bunch of these. And I'm going to throw this in my Xcode folder. And there it goes. 